9-11 was definitely a driving force for me to join the military. When I was 16 years old, I knew that I owed it to my country to do a duty to make sure our country stayed safe. The second deployment's the one that really got me. I was in charge of a squad. I had 12 men under me. And it was hard every day to go out and get shot at and come back and then have to tell them we were going back to the same area. It was March 26, 2010. Um, I was on a routine patrol to actually help a, another squad that was in a hide unit. And uh, we went to go across a bridge and I stopped my patrol about 100 feet back. And I uh, stepped on a pressure plate IED, which ended up making me lose my arms and legs. You wake up in that hospital bed and the thought in your mind is, do you give up or you keep going? So I kept going. In 2012, I believe it was, this man walks in and he says, I'm Frank Siller. He goes, I'm gonna build you a home. I didn't know who was gonna take care of me and my family. I didn't know people cared like this. To know that there's people out there like Tunnel to Towers Foundation that wanna do things for veterans, is uh it's quite emotional i don't know where i'd be without this smart home they try to make the home customized to your needs a smart home for me gives me the independence in life where i can feel and live normally i look at it as not the worst day of my life but now i look at it as the best day of my life because i got to live again